Let me see your hand. You're not 23. I might show you. Perfect word for this. <laughs> we are gonna take this. Beautiful Portuguese soccer player. <laughs> I feel like I'm set up. Oh, this is big. Holy God. Basta così, basta così, basta is how we talk. <laughs> no one get offended, please. <laughs> I think I'll just stick with my first claim. He is the Portuguese soccer player. <laughs> and here we have the beautiful Brazilian women. <laughs> <laughs> the Brazilian women? <laughs> I should start like, <laughs> So how do you say Portuguese in your language? Portuguese. 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 And then, sorry, Ronaldo. Oh, now I have to be a beautiful Brazilian woman. You can be a, br a beautiful Brazilian woman now. I'm not more of a Brazilian beautiful girl. Oh. You're a soccer player. I'm a soccer player. You're a beautiful Portuguese soccer player. That's pretty good as well. Now I go to. Exactly. Eu falo português. Eu falo português. Eu falo português. Eu falo português. I hear su, I hear su, I hear su, I hear su. I, hear su. <laughs> I think she's speaking Chinese now. Shu, 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 shu. Shu, su, shu, su. Oh yeah, this is my final answer. Okay, can you reveal your country? Su! <laughs> Portugal! What? Yeah. Wait, my first impression? <laughs> no, no way! <laughs> I thought like, oh, she's gonna guess it in the first place. Yeah, I thought so too. But I she made your life really hard. I did, because I can make Portuguese accent. And she said her... <laughs> she wasn't speaking Portuguese accent, yeah. She was like, hola. <laughs> <laughs> but hola is for both. You can say hola or oi. Yeah. Okay. But I was gonna say hola, actually. But then they were all saying oi, so I was like, oi. And my favorite movie, it changes all the time. I watched the most brilliant movie last year at the Busan International Film Festival, The, the Monk and the Gun. It's from Bhutan. I'll give you the 30. You know the the worst part? I didn't understand which movie. He liked <laughs> The monk and something. I no, yeah, and I was, you know, with this deep voice, like Whoa. I would change. I would change her for 28, he for 30. You're getting younger. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If I if I change to Marvel, are you gonna make me 23? Nah. <laughs> So when you were in high school, what was the most famous one? The Facebook older, Instagram middle, TikTok younger, for sure. When I was in high school, I think Instagram was. Okay. Just getting started? But it's like there's cultural differences, right? I'm 23 for the record, and when I was in high school, like Instagram was not in the beginning, it was already there for like at least five to six years. Facebook? <laughs> Instagram, maybe it was there. Change again, 30. <laughs> 30? Nah. Facebook, we are talking about Facebook. Guys, but it's Korea, so like international, the cultural differences. Oh, I'm back to 30. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know that. Or him with 30 and she with 30. Yeah, yes. I think. You haven't even asked me yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, we have Of that. I have like 10 of them. Okay, 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 fair enough. No, we are moving also We're like, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm actually 30. <gasps> what? Wait, what? Wait. Pardon? In the beginning, I knew he was not 23, but like. Uh, wait, Whoa. Is Joshua 23? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to believe that. No way. Oh my god. You're 23? I am. That is nonsense! Joshua! <laughs> I will not forget your age next time. All right. Oh. Wait, where did he come in with the soul? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Oh my god. So you guys live in a permanent musical? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyday scenario, I'm, I'm studying and it's like 12 a.m. and someone will sing like Love Went Up. Really? Yeah, and I couldn't complain. It's really good. They're like, okay girl. <laughs> Way more than testing, I think. No, no way, this is real. This is a very typical Filipino thing in a supermarket. In the supermarket? Yeah, it's a supermarket. 
<laughs> what happens if you spill it? In the Philippines, we can just, okay, I want to sing. I'm going to get my karaoke karaoke mic and then I'm going to sing. <laughs> that, that, that kid would just come out, you know, grab the mic and just, oh, I want to sing. And then finish be like, oh, okay, this is good. Okay, that's good vocal no. training tomorrow again. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you saw, it's typical. And it's one way how we enjoy ourselves and how we get together. I went to uh, some vocal classes, but obviously they failed me. In the Philippines, we can just, okay, I want to sing. I'm going to get my karaoke karaoke mic and then I'm going to sing. <laughs> okay, what do you think it is? I'm going to use my American brain cells <laughs> and guess it's a cassette tape. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, okay. It's one of the most common types of bread. Um, in Brazil, yes, it can mean also like to give a punch, a sort of a punch. In the southern part of Brazil, like in the south, they say also casetinho, which is like the bread. But majority of Brazil, if you say cacete, it means dick. Really? Nossa, esse cacete. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> I hope they put that in. And it was a little girl going like, Oh, Papai Noel, pode me dar seu cacetinho? Oh. And we were like, what? Because she's asking for the Santa Claus for the little bread. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like a little bread. Whoa, okay! I can't say that! Is, is it bad in Brazil? It is really bad! Okay, for us too. Uh, you say first. So, punheta in Portugal is like the act of masturbating. Oh, it's the same in, in, in Brazil. Pica in Portugal means like being hyped about it, about something. Like, what? Oh, I'm full of pica to do something. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm so hyped to do this. I don't know. Imagine you have like a party. <laughs> Her reaction. Imagine you have a party on Friday. So you're like, oh, I'm full of pika for this party. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's start with the easy one. So pika in Brazil has two meanings. One of them is like it's a it's badass. It's like it's dope. Uh, the other one is the meaning everywhere in Brazil, which means dick again. I'm full of pika. It's like I'm full of dick to the party. I'm like, what? I'm full of pika. Yo, this party is gonna be pika. awesome. Yeah, pika pika, like a pika. pika. That, that's why it became a problem, Brazil, because it's like dick dick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of dirty words. Okay, in the U.S., we say sidewalk. Uh, no, we don't call like sidewalk, but what's the Bengali meaning? Footpath. <laughs> that actually makes Footpath. so much sense. Your yeah. feet are on the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, it happens. So I, I relate. So I we don't call <laughs> sidewalk, we call footpath. Footpath, I like that. In South Africa, it's called a pavement. In the Philippines, we also use a sidewalk. In India, we usually use footpath, but I think people are switching to side, saying it's sidewalk as well, but footpath mainly. I don't think we, we use the English word for this. <laughs> we just use the Malay word. What do you say again? We say pavement. Pavement, I think we use this more as well, because this sounds very American to me. Okay. So in the US, we say flashlight. In Bangladesh, we say like torch. In South Africa, we say torch. Thank you. Torchlight. It's torch light. <laughs> Wait, it's not. Yeah, in Malaysia we use torch light. We fuse it together. In India we call it a torch. In the Philippines we call it a flashlight. Thank you, Philippines, because <laughs> in the US it exists, but it's only with fire. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actual fire. I'm talking about an electronic flashlight. Yeah, yeah. Right. Torch, torch light. So in the US we say trash can. Oh, we say like moilar patro. Why are you looking stressed? Because I feel like I was set up. <laughs> <laughs> in South Africa we call it a dustbin. Okay. Okay, but I've heard of this. Also, we call dustbin as well. Right. Yeah, yeah. In Malaysia, we also use dustbin or rubbish bin. Mm. In India, we also say dustbin. In the Philippines, we also use the trash can or basurahan. What, is that in like Tagalog? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's from Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the US, when you end a sentence with this punctuation, it's called period. So in Bangladesh, if we like end the sentence, we call like dari or full stop. In South Africa, it's also called a full stop. In Malaysia, British English Unite is called a full stop, period. <laughs> Play! Play! In India, it is also called a full stop. In the Philippines, it is called period or dot. Okay, we also say dot sometimes. <laughs> full stop. <Period. laughs> No. Honestly, 
life for me isn't true. Maybe I was just born in the wrong place. But <laughs> no way. yeah, I think the difference here is too extreme. Person, oh. I think we all listen to music. I, I listen to EDM while I clean my oh, house. Wow. You know, oh, but I don't dance. Oh, I admit yeah. that I don't dance. <laughs> to be fast. Yeah. It's not about but listening. It's, not. it's about the concert. feeling. No, it's the feeling. The concert. You make a dance. And it depends, for example. And so you can clean and you're like, <laughs> and you clean more. And if the you clean more, I clean more and it's even more clean, oh, yeah. depending on the music. Because you go on the rhythm, you know, and it's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think in Spain, we, we used to listen a lot of reggaeton and we know also many uh, songs from your country. So, for example, in my case, uh, I also use it and I know what you mean. Do you clean sure. better when you, you listen to it? I mean, I'm, I'm sure she knows this song, Rata de dos patas. Rata de dos patas. Rata de dos patas. That one? It's for cleaning the bathroom and it's going to be super That's clean. perfect for cleaning. I don't know how, but it gets cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, sometimes also you stop and think about like the feeling and after. Again. And again so it's it's like and it gets cleaner i think it's good it's like a physical and mental work that you do while you're cleaning you know i'm amazed that you can have patience for your chores so it looks like in france is not like that not in france but in my house it's not like that <laughs> <laughs> you need to come to our houses well but i think in julia's house i, I will need a alcohol a cocktail or something with it. while cleaning <laughs> it's not gonna get clean then <laughs> like the build up here yeah. <laughs> Qatar? Oh, it's an Argentinian player. Oh. Es el Kun Agüero? <laughs> sí. That's crazy. I mean, if I were in that plane, I'd be very bothered, honestly. Same. He's in business class. If it's so noisy in business class. Think about the economy. Exactly. <laughs> you have to get just as high up as them, you know, just yeah, join yeah. it. Just like At that point, you just have to join. Yeah. But it's like, did I want to join? Maybe not, maybe I wanted to sleep. You, now you don't have an option. Yeah, you don't have an option. At this point, you don't have an option. But I, I think he is taken like in a humor, like ironically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now, now you guys see how passionate Brazilians can be. But annoying too, actually. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I was like, oh, oh, I signed my, I'm dead. <laughs> I love Brazil. So what do you guys think about Argentina? Dolce de leche. I think they're a little bit more like yeah. crazy in Argentina. Like more intense. Not crazy, crazy in a good way, crazy intense. in an intense way. I, I think they are very elegant. Like the way you have to speak. She like it. She like it. She has the best comments. Yes. What do you think about Mexico? Tiesta? Tiesta and sombrero. Tiesta? That was a more famous in Spain. But also in Mexico. We don't have enough time. You don't have enough time. No, I will. I, so I went to Mexico once, and I remember that everyone was so chill, and that after lunch everyone was I like, know, okay, "I know, I know, that's chill. the man del puerco." Like when you, <laughs> it's when you eat a lot that the man del puerco. Ah, like, because you're like eat like a pig. Uh -huh. But I don't know. I have this image of Mexicans with the sombrero in the street, like napping. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is it in real life? Maybe in movies. I don't know. But I think about that when I think about Mexico. I don't know, but the humor of Mexican people is yeah. is exceptional. Yeah. They took everything in a very humor sense, and I yeah, I wish to have that. I feel like they never cry. They're always laughing. They're always happy. Yeah. How can you teach me? Yeah. How? Yeah. Get to Mexico. You get heartbroken, you go to party. The the party. party. Yeah. <laughs> I think whatever happens, good or bad, you go, you, 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 part, you party. Ah, you party. I thought you said yeah. Paris, party. like party. I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of depressing. Yeah, but <laughs> why? <laughs> why would you go there? Go to party to party. Yeah. Polyglot. Yeah. Polyglot. Polyglot. Yeah. <laughs> Polyglot. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Julia. I'm from Brazil. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Can I ask it? No. Ah, that's gonna be a hint. Hajime maste. Ah, to. Watashi ga ima hanashite ru gengo wa doko no gengo ka wakarimasu ka? Ah, I'm not sure if I know. I think I have an idea, but I need you to talk more. So, what is your favorite food? 私が好きな食べ物は日本 
の,そのお母さんの作ってくれる料理で肉じゃがってあるんですけど肉じゃがが大好きです。Are you from what part of the world? アジア<笑>え<笑> ?OK! <笑>アジア<笑> ?How is the weather in your country? 私の国はここの韓国とあの少し似てるんですけど韓国よりはちょっと暖かい国になります。私も日本語ちょっと<笑>話しますよ。So、we are going to pretend that we don't understand the languages when they come here. We're gonna put our best act on. <笑> Most people don't assume that we know the languages we know, right, so right. I think it's gonna be quite interesting to see them like realize we can. <笑> Especially the reaction. Yes, I'm curious for the reactions the most. <笑>本当ですか？<笑><笑>日本語、本当は日本語忘れたって<笑><笑>ベラベラじゃないですか<笑>日,本日本の方ではないですよあないないないないあ独学したんですね、はいはいはいはい、上手だからちょっと今でも絶対知らないと思って<笑>わピリンに飲めた<笑> So how did you feel when I speak in Japanese? <笑> I was wondering why she's speaking Japanese. I, I feel like, oh, excuse me? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Because the, this time, that's kind of like, you know, it's like a morning time, I, I feel.、Mm -hmm. So I was like,、hmm? did, I, did, I, oh, did, did I hear, did right? I, did I hear、yeah. my like, Japanese? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I, I, think, I think it's a Korean. No, no, Japanese. She's speaking Japanese.、So. Good, you're good. I went to Japan not long ago. I was there in November. It was my first time in Japan. Really? Yeah, and I was like, ピザ。I u n d e r s t o o d pizza. I u n d e r s t o o d pizza. Pizza is very good. 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 P
<ride> allora, asciugatevi le mani, la prima cosa che dobbiamo fare è prendere una padella e aggiungere dell'acqua quando l'acqua sta per bollire un po' di sale. Oh, How much water do I put? De devi, devi, uh, non troppo perché sennò viene fuori quando bolle. Ten yeah. hours oh. later, a thousand years later. Maybe tomorrow we have the spaghetti. Mm. E quello sicuramente non è sufficiente. Ok. <ride> <ride> ne metterei ancora. I will put all the surface. Ok. Concordo. Non è basta così, basta così, basta così, basta così. <ride> È una piscina di olio! I try! Vediamo quando è caldo. Quando diventa caldo, prendiamo l'aglio, lo andiamo a sciacquare, lo tagliamo a metà, lo mettiamo qui, lo facciamo imbrunire un pochino. Wait until it's... We have to cut the... Dobbiamo, sì, ripulire il sederino del, dell'aglio, non so come si chiama quella Only parte. That? Only that? No, lo taglierei a metà io. Ok, so we take off the tip and we have to cut it in the middle. Did I get it right? Ok, it right. okay. three, two, one. Oddio! Oh, <ride> oh, okay. It's burning! È, è, è alto il fuoco, dovete... Tiratela via dal fuoco! Ah! Tiriamo via quello, tiriamo via quello e mettiamone altri tre e lo lasciamo andare. Okay. Deve diventare color no noce. I have to move this or just... Now, now no, I no, think it's lasciamo, okay. Lasciamola lì. Someone knows the time in all yeah, the pasta because... Circa die dai 10 ai 12 minuti, però la andiamo ad assaggiare. Dopo la lasciamo un po' più It's dura, così la finiamo di cuocere nell'olio. Mm, troppo alto, troppo alto. Via, via, via. Tienila, Giulia, tienila su, tienila su, tienila su. I don't understand Italian, don't be mad at me! Here says 10 minutes. Is it better to use just a clock? No. La assaggiamo e capiamo, quindi è, la, la pasta è, un, è una sensazione, non è una questione di minuti. Yeah! yeah. <ride> eh, forse sì. Well, it's cute. Un pochino di, di peperoncino. <ride> e poi ci andiamo a mettere una squintalata di parmigiano. Wow, well, like this, so it would be nicer, I guess. È il monte bianco del parmigiano. I knew she was gonna complain about it. No, 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 like too no, much. No, no. So right now we're gonna taste the pasta that these beautiful ladies made. So how about the taste? Let's try all together. Okay. All together. All together. All together. I'm gonna wait for you. I wanna wait for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you die, if you die, I don't eat it. I'm, I'm afraid. I, I like this silence. Because in program, master chef. Oh no, oh she's God, Italian, she will be super... So, okay, oh. I'm scared. <laughs> I think the taste is not too bad, but there's a big but. The consistency of the pasta is terrible. Oh. It's like plastic. Oh, what? And I don't know if it's a problem of the pasta or... Mm. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? Mm. It's like chewing on a chewing gum. Look at my pasta, I've got all the... Oh my god! She literally got all the... I would rate this... I'm sorry! Like three out of them! It was that bad? When you cook Italian food, you don't need a lot of ingredients. But, but the you way need to you master. mix it, yeah, 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 that's the thing. If I'm wondering about Latin America, is it more common to live with your parents after high school and up until marriage, or is it more common to just, uh, you know, leave, yeet out of your home? In Mexico, especially if you're a woman, you, I mean, you need to get married in order to get out of the house, usually. In the case of men, I think it's a little bit more relaxed, but because we are still a conservative country, Mexico still, like, has this like, expectation. This generation, we tend to live more alone. Mm -hmm. But like yeah. older generations, yeah. Yeah. you only move when you get married. Mm -hmm. But also yeah. I see that it happens that sometimes the couple live with the parents of like um, one. Oh yeah, yeah, it happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. 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 Or maybe not the couple yeah. living with the parents, but like the parents living with the with couple. Really? Like sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that happens. Oh. My grandmother, she moves in between houses from all her like daughters. <laughs> it's really, yeah. <laughs> she tours around Colombia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because all my aunts are living in different cities. So she's like, you know what? I'm feeling like going to the coast. I feel like going to the mountains. Your granny is living her best life. <laughs> yeah, she's best great. Life. This is great. Grandma, I love you. <laughs> I think it really does like matter about money. <laughs> also that. Yeah, yeah I think that's course. the main thing. Yeah. I want to be wish. in the basement. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is how we talk. <laughs> I think that we are loud when we are like 
together yeah. because like if we are with people from another country then we are not allowed exactly. like we are allowed when we are together like before yeah. when we yes. were before filming everyone was so quiet i was like are these latin people i'm like and then after our first video everyone is like oh, besties let's go i think we can tell like a gossip like a one-year gossip in one minute yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. we have like yeah. latino families be like we're arguing because like we are really like Passion. Yeah. 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 So we have passion. Yeah. And we express energy. a lot of things with our body. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so we're like, like oh, body language. Yeah. So I feel like some people can be a little bit loud. Exactly. Maybe not everyone, but some. Mm. Is it a slipper? <laughs> <laughs> Me That's too. That's a stereotype. It's a yeah. stereotype, like, yeah. Her, <laughs> like my mom would not actually hit. Yeah. But she would like just Attempt, threaten. like Yeah, mm. threaten. Like, mm. But she would mm. not hit. Mm. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. say. Like, like she would take it off and attempt to yes, do it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know. I think for me, my family, like sometimes it happened. It was like the belt. It was like oh, yeah, my, my dad. dad, my dad. dad. The sleeper will be more like my grandmother. That is true. Like mothers are the ones who normally use it. Yeah. I don't know if you so I mean, watched the movie Coco, and ah. I think it's a very accurate depiction of the grandmother pulling with the chancla. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but has I don't know mystical in your origins. Best country. But like in Brazil now, people don't hit anymore. I think this is more like old style. Yeah, yeah that's old. Like that's that's, old, that's old. Sorry, I do that yeah. with my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and my dad raised me like every time you leave this house, you have to say I love you, and I'm like okay. Every family is like say I love you, say I love you. Bye, I love you. Yeah, always. If I don't call my mom in like two days, she's gonna be like screaming at me every day. I have to call her. I'm sorry, mom. I love you. Doesn't matter your age. You have to like to say where you are, where you're going, where you're traveling to. It doesn't matter, I'm still gonna be your mom forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell my Mexican mom that her salsa isn't spicy enough. Mind you, she puts like 30 chili serranos or something like that. Oye, ma. Yeah. Tu salsa sabe diferente. No es tan picosa. Picosa. No, 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 <laughs> Can a Mexican confirm, please? I think yes. I think definitely yes. Or at least that we put minimum 25 chilies in a salsa. 25? Yeah, that a fact, a fact. So it, we cannot yeah. eat without salsa. Or like lemon. Uh, yeah. Wow. yeah, in Brazil, in Brazil also lemon goes everywhere. Argentina has like a type of sauce, right? Like uh, chimichurri. 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 In my department, in my state where I live, people got so addicted to spicy sauce, they literally get addicted to it and they cannot eat without it. And they eventually develop like problems in their... Oh my god. Like, yeah, in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yes. I can feel that. That's my mom. That's my mom. Yeah, the thing there's two things that will make you sick in Latin America. Cold and your phone. Like, oh, I'm hurting. It's because you're on your phone. Oh, I got a cold because you're on your phone or because you didn't wear a jacket. It could be super hot. It's like, no, you have to wear a jacket. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like, it can be like the hottest weather. But if your mom says it's gonna be cold, uh, put on a jacket, you it's gonna to. be cold. I don't know how. Like, the weather will be cold. That it can be so like 40 true. degrees. But if she says so, like, take a cold, then it, it will yeah. be cold. Did you ever hear, like, oh, you shouldn't go to the pool after eating? Because exactly. then you're gonna get like cramps exactly. or something. That's my mom. <laughs> That's my mom. Do they put a lot of sunscreen on you guys too when you go to oh. the beach? <laughs> I was white. I was oh, white. Oh, oh, white. Oh, so white. <laughs> They have like this manual that they read, they're like, okay, we have to Latin tell our kids that. Moms, Latin American, how to do this. <laughs> Snake Island, that's that's amazing. I don't want to be there. Oh, wow. So another fun fact about Brazil is that there is an island that's called, well, that's known as Snake Island because it's filled with snakes. Because it's there's a lot of snakes. In yeah. <laughs> She's so happy saying, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not happy about it. <laughs> it's like, Prohibited. Protected. Yeah, so the island itself is called Queimada Grande and it's an island in Sao Paulo state. And but it's known as Snake Island because it's filled with snakes and you must ask the authorization of the Brazilian Navy to even like set foot there. Who would go? <laughs> 
unless you're really interested by snake. Yeah, you have to be so fascinating. So the, there is different species of the snakes there, I guess. Yeah. And some of them also uh, have poison. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. It's fun because in Japan there's an island, there is the bunny island, and yeah. another oh, island that's the cat island. island. And it's very cute. When you go there, you can see these bunnies, you can see the cat. But then in Brazil, you have it's the snake. snake. <laughs> I'd rather have the cat island. Yeah. <laughs> really. And another fun fact is that the OK sign this I know that <laughs> it doesn't mean okay what, what it doesn't mean okay it means asshole because yeah. oh. what does it look like <laughs> do you have another sign to say okay <laughs> you say like this or yeah just like I don't want to know what this is then <laughs> I don't want to know I don't think any at least in Spain we don't have like a symbol to symbolize like your asshole <laughs> You don't, you don't express it, no, exactly. For, I think it's because like if somebody like annoys you and you can't see anything, you're just like... Ah, like <laughs> it's like the middle finger, kind of. No, really, because it just means asshole. That's, the, that's what it means. But, that, that's but you can use it <laughs> creatively. But anyway, for OK signs, I, I guess this. I don't do like a... <laughs> I try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> it's polite. <laughs> Teardrop, okay. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and let a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.